Revelation 326. From the 9th of March 1938. Divine Grace. The Spirit of God. The Lord grants grace to all to the extent that they are worthy of it. There is no limited law according to which the earthly being may enjoy the grace of God only in a limited way, but the source of grace is inexhaustible for you people, if you only follow the right paths that lead you to this source. Every being which has succeeded in the awakening of the spirit, will now be permeated by divine grace, and this will now flow to him continuously to render him more and more mature and completed as long as the earth carries him. The wise always only strives for divine grace. What he alone never can succeed in, he can easily accomplish, being supported by God's grace, and you may draw as much as you want at any time. Because it is only up to you whether you ask for it. Your prayer for the grace of God will always be fulfilled. Therefore again and again try to present your spiritual need to the heavenly teacher so that he has mercy on you and instructs you in his teaching, and no day will pass where you will not collect treasures and form your spirit according to the Father's wish and will. Ask and you shall be given. And your share will be pure, truth and clear vision, and as you learn to love God and your neighbor with ever greater power, so your spirit likewise illuminates itself with ever stronger light. Because only man sets limits in earthly ability, but God, the all-embracing spirit, allows unlimited spiritual maturation, and every being rises into ever higher spheres of spiritual enlightenment until the spirit finally unites with the eternal father spirit. And now summarize all your thinking, striving and acting and compare your present activity with your past life, you will recognize more and more that everything around you is flown through by the Spirit of God. Your thought often turns upwards, it always returns to infinity. You remain in constant contact with the world in which your soul now mainly seeks its abode. And new areas are always opened to you which distract your thinking from earthly worries and joys and form your spirit to completely different experiences. This extraordinary reshaping of your being is an influence of the divine grace granted to you in abundance. It turns away from the world and towards the spiritual, everyone who only earnestly longs for it and asks God for help, and so everything is founded in it that has changed your life. Both the earthly and the spiritual activity is determined by the divine spirit when the human child submits to the divine will. For what is your life other than a slow forming of your spirit, that you recognize to be subject to divine power and yet to possess free will? So that you use free will in such a way that you seek the divine father, the creator of heaven and earth, out of your own volition and strive to come ever closer to him. When you have recognized this, the Spirit of God will flood through you, and again and again you will live in his grace, and your end will be a blessed one. Amen.